kid and welcome to your kid time story time. Hey Pink Bear. Hey. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Anyway, today we're reading what is it with these guys? Anyway, we are going to be reading Duck for President. What? What is happening here? <sighs> Green Bear, uh, we're about to read Duck for President. I see what you're about to read, you traitor. What are you talking about? You know, don't pretend you don't know, storyteller. I am running for president. It's Green Bear for president. Green Bear and only Green Bear. I told you that I'm running for president. I told you. I, I knew this was going to be a bad idea. I tried to warn you, but I'm... Well, you didn't really warn me now, did you, Pink Bear? You just ran up. Oh, I can't believe that he saw this all. Oh, this is going to be trouble. Uh, right. uh, ah! I, I, I mean, what is this duck fellow? Who is he? What does he stand for? Does he believe in free chocolate for all the kids the way I do? Does he? Huh? Huh? Well, I actually don't know. Why don't we read and find out what it is that he stands for? And you, why don't you have a big, tall glass of water? Huh, yes, I'm thirsty. Water, water. Green River President! Water, water. Yes, you go cool down and we're going to read Duck. Oof, your president. Hey, looks like this girl named Carrie owned this book. I bet she voted for Duck for President! Water, 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 water. Okay, okay, that was a little exhausting. All right, let's, let's do this. Vote, says the red airplane, and there is the duck. Oh, oh Green Bear doesn't pop up again. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of the day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. <coughs> Even the pigs look like they're grossed out. And they're pigs. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds. Cows weed the garden. Sheep sweep the barn. Duck take out the trash, mow the lawn, grind coffee beans. Oh, I guess that's where the uh, coffee stains come from. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies. The cows are covered in weeds. The sheep Bah, are covered in dust. And duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Mmm, I love the smell of espresso beans in the morning. Now duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Yeah, that's not so much fun. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought duck. What we need is an election. So he made a sign. And he hung it up in the barn. And what does the sign say? Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. Wow, that's a big deal. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Well, Farmer Brown was furious. Look at how red his face is. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. And according to this poster here, voter registration, voters must, one, live on the farm, two, show valid ID, three, be, okay, never mind on that three, but I wonder what farm ID is. The mice got together and protested the height requirement. Ah, so Duck crossed it off. I see, I see. I guess you don't have to be this high to vote, just to ride the ride. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown six, Duck 20. Wow, that is what you call a landslide. Farmer Brown, well, he demanded a recount. And one sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. <coughs> the new tally was Farmer Brown 6, Duck 21. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, wait. <clears throat> quack, 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 quack. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Now, running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought.
thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Vote for me! I'm a duck, not a politician. Oh, his staff are chickens. Bark, 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 bark. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in the parades. Oh, look at the signs. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. Vote duck. He went to town meetings. He gave speeches that, well, frankly, only other ducks could understand. And on election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. <gasps> the vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Are you reading this? Duck wins by a nose. Wait, isn't that by a beak? Well, let's not quibble. Ms. Governor <gasps> lost by one measly little vote. <gasps> oh boy. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. Mmm, yummy. The new tally was Miss Governor 299999 and Duck 300002. Ah, those sticky ballots always go to the duck, don't they? The voters had spoken and Duck was officially in charge. I don't like where this is going. Running a state is very hard work. Though. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and <makes noise> coffee stains. It's very consistent with the coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. So, that night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. A duck. For a change, I like Ike. Nope, cross out. That's from the 50s. I like Duck. Duck, making us proud again. Ah, yes. So the entire staff is, I guess, just moving him up until he finds a political post that he actually enjoys. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television, because that's what politicians do. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted, and the results were announced on CNN. Is that Chicken News Network? No? I'm not sure. Decision America! Mr. President, 50,546,165 duck 50,546,170. Duck defeats President. What? By five votes. Five votes. However, the president demanded a recount. Do you see what I see? Sticky ballots. Ten sticky ballots found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. Of course, he was probably eating the maple syrup pancakes and, well, you know. So, once they counted these ten sticky butt ballots, the new tally was Decision America, Mr. President 50,546,165, just as before, and Duck with a gain of ten more votes. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Can you stop reading now? No, there's still more books. Ah! Oh boy. Our little presidential candidate is upset. Moving on. Running a country is very hard work. I feel like I know what's happening next. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder and paper cuts and staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Well, what's he going to run if he doesn't run the country? Well, then he checked the Help Wanted ads. Duck needed. No experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Hmm. That sounds like a familiar job. Duck left the vice president in charge and... Waddled back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck 
is working on his autobiography because that's what fancy presidential ducks do. And that is duck for president. I would never do that. I would never abandon my position to some vice presidential candidate. No. I, as your president, Green Bear, will promise to make sure that I will never leave office. I will always be there for you. And I promise chocolate for all the people. Chocolate. If you love chocolate and you love green, vote Green Bear for president this election season. Thank you very much. Ugh, I need more water. Come on. You need more water for your speeches? Yeah, it's true. I have a lot of speeches to do. A lot of speeches. Hard work being president, people. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time.